Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, you've probably been in a situation where you had to check out and review somebody else's drawing, or maybe your own drawing. You needed to make sure the angles were correct and the distances were correct and the lengths were correct and so on and so forth, right? Maybe not everything was dimensioned or maybe you're not even sure the dimensions were accurate, right? They cheated, who knows? Whatever the situation is, you've probably used the measure geom command at some point in time. Like what is this measure geom command you speak of? What a strange name, it's this guy up here, all right? It's on the home tab of the ribbon, it's this ruler right up here. You can see the measure geom command. Well, inside of AutoCAD 2020, they added this great new option called the quick option what i wanted what's this quick option i i want to go quickly i've got things to do places to go people to see i want this quick option let me show you what it does notice as i'm moving my cursor around on the screen i quickly hence the name get all this information thrown at me now i should warn you that you don't want to be zoomed out too far especially in a, a real busy drawing or you're going to have a measure geom explosion of information and it's not going to be effective. You need to zoom in, but you can see there's a one 135 degree angle. Here I've got a 45 degree angle. I can see that's uh, definitely a 90 degree angle. They didn't get it off by one degree. Have you ever had that happen? And here I can check out a couple of radial dimensions on here without actually having the dimensions, right? I can just move my cursor around. I can find out what's the length of that line, what are the distances here, and so on and so forth. Very powerful, very fast, and very, very quick. What is it willing to measure? It's gonna measure almost every object, no custom objects, no hatch patterns, and it's not going to measure a dimension or the different parts of a dimension. And I'm gonna ask myself, why, why would you wanna do that? That doesn't even make any sense, so no loss there. I would like to point out that I think it works really great, however, it does have some issues when it comes to angular dimensions, it's not really willing to find them all for me. If I come up here and I say to myself, I would really like to know what this angle is, please, oh great measure geom command, will you please show me, no, no, not today, how about this one over here? No, nope. angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. If you tell me one, I can figure the other one out. Nope, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> So it, sometimes it doesn't give me all the information that I want, but I find that it does a really good job. This is what I also want to share with you. If I come down to the command line down here, to the command line, and I click on mode, which is also new, you will see on here, always default to quick measure behavior because you love it so much. You want that to be the default. You can say a Y for yes, and then you will see that it will always default to the quick option, so when you click on measure at the top, even if you switch it out, it's always gonna go back to quick. I'm gonna show you one other fun thing I discovered. I'm gonna go out of the command, let's draw a line, let's do whatever, the let's, let's go into another command, blah, 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 whatever. Let's go back into measure geom. Let's go to mode. These are just fun Lynn Allen facts. I want you to see the default goes to no. For some reason, the default always is no for quick measure behavior. Even if you say yes, it always goes back to a default of no. I don't know, those are interesting things to me. Maybe not to you, maybe you're sleeping right now as I speak. <laughs> anyway, I want you to try this uh, quick option in the measure GM command. It's kind of top secret, a lot of people don't know about it and I want you to know about it because I think you're really going to want to use it, especially if you wanna do a quick check on your drawing or someone else's drawing. All right, give it a try. I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks, thank you. So much for joining me.